Welcome back. I'm Adam, and this is Ghost of Coders. Today, we're going to be talking about HowlerJS. And this is a very cool JavaScript framework that allows us to play audio in the web. Let's get started. As with any of my projects, I like having goals going into them. My first goal for this one was, I want to see what kind of dependencies and setup time there is. To me, minimal dependencies and easy setup time are number one. So I want to prove that first. Secondly, I want to see how hard it is to actually play sounds in the web browser. And I'd like to test them in a way that's actually going to push it to the limits a little bit. And finally, I started thinking like the best way to do this is maybe, let's go back to Contra and build something using Contra and Howler, two very low dependency frameworks, and see what I can come up with. So I ended up debating for a while and I wanted to do something super quick. So I wanted to be able to set something up in like 30 minutes. And I decided to build a mini little keyboard in the web. So I wanna have like seven keys and you push each one and it plays the appropriate sound. And that way I can sit there and like click really fast and hopefully uh, get multiple sounds playing at one time. So I set out on an adventure to find piano key sounds. First off, I am not a musician by any means. So I Googled piano key sounds and I downloaded seven sounds starting with A3 all the way to F3. And I put them into a new folder called assets. So I have an asset sound folder and I put all seven of my sounds in there. So now when I actually start coding, I start taking a look at the documentation and before I jump into the quick setup, I wanted to look at some of the features. And some of the features that really intrigued me were the amount of support for different audio formats that uh, Howler has. Like uh, to me that is super awesome because a lot of times if any of you have worked with audio, they can be very picky. When I've worked on consoles, for example, some of the audio systems that I've worked with literally only support one format. And in this one, it supports a ton out of the box. And it also claims no dependencies. That's huge for me. I really also, just another shout out on the features that stood out to me, is the idea of having a long sound file and being able to split it up in what they call audio sprites and be able to save resources. So you're not loading too many files in, but yet you could still get a huge number of um, audio clips that you can play individually. To me, that was actually really awesome. It's something, honestly, I've never thought, out before, thought of before. In all of my game development days, I've never thought about using something like audio sprites. I've always done individual files for individual sounds. And this is gonna be way more efficient on the web. One other thing to point out real quick is that it actually does support spatial audio. So this, you can actually build a 3D game and they have a demo set up where you can walk around and audio will get louder as you get closer to the speakers that are in a 3D environment. That's pretty crazy if you ask me. All right, so I set up my audio files in my assets folder. I've downloaded the distribution files from Howler and I've dropped them in. I've also added them to my index.html file. Literally, I'm gonna have one file, one HTML file and one JavaScript file. So then I start coding. And the first thing I want to test out very quickly is just playing an audio file. And right out of the box, it worked immediately. So I just set to get set down and like in 10 minutes, I coded up something very quickly where I lay out seven boxes of various colors with click events that play a sound that has already been preloaded when the game has been set up. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> see it's a very simple game a very I wouldn't even really call it a game yet but the idea of being able to do something as powerful as what Howler JS is providing and Contra in literally it took me about 15 minutes to set everything up and that includes looking for the sound files that includes actually setting up the rendering loop everything like in 15 minutes is just mind-blowing to me and I've got audio playing with click events and everything's working flawlessly. And I did test it in a different browser and it worked great. So Edge, Chrome, and Firefox, it worked out the gate. It actually claims to support back to IE9, which is also really awesome because it will default back to HTML audio if you don't have 
uh, the more modern APIs for, for playing sounds. Anyway, hopefully this gives you guys some ideas on cool stuff to build and introduces you to HowlerJS. Please go check it out. I'll have a link below in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. Otherwise, keep coding. Until next time.